Hello, fans, and welcome to tonight's game between the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Number 10 is a key component to this basketball franchise. He brings them a lot with his abilities, and he'll be looking to showcase those in today's game. He loves to use his superior foot speed to catch guys off guard, Brad. He may be young, but he's smart enough to know his strengths on offense. The Demon Deacons will undoubtedly feed off his play in this contest. And after all the anticipation were underway, the Demon Deacons are looking at a very tough opponent, Dick. What have they got to do to win? Hey, they've got to do the following things if they want to be successful. First, play your game. It's up to the point guard to make certain that they stay in their game and they play at their pace. Secondly, make sure every possession you have is a good possession. Don't turn the rock over. Lastly, play solid fundamental defense and don't get caught gambling. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court and we'll see how this one plays out. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. High post screen. He strokes it. That was nice. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And we'll go to the free throw line. Makes the first. It's his second. He buries it. Ouch! That's what I call a hard screen. We're going to move it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Pushing up basketball, help one another, communicate. Nice high post screen. He fires away, sinks it. Up and inside. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Great play to take that to the basket. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. The shooting guard gets the ball. He does the sweet fake shot. Nicky's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Trying to draw the foul. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Moving it around the perimeter. Inside, the power forward takes the feed. Ate, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. Group the offense. Looking for a good shot from three point territory. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's a one man show at the moment. He can't get any help from his teammates. For two. I love this guy, Hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Inside, the center gets the pass. Fake. Off 
offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. There's the trap. Stolen away. Defense got it after knocking it loose. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. McGrew is feeling great right now. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. High post flashes for the opportunity. The point guard takes the pass. From right in the circle. Off the rim and no good. Shows patience waiting for the reset. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. The center with the ball. Allen makes a great move to draw the foul. To the line. First shot is no good. tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. Got to take some pride on his defensive end. From three-point land. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. Brad, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Turns it over. On the outside. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Trying to pack it inside. He's got a nice shot fake. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. High post screen. So effective that screen. find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Look at that space. Double team now, that angle. They strip him in a basketball, got a little too fancy, too much mustard there, baby. Goes up for two. Bed the low block. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> he brought the ball back down to the floor and stripped him. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Jumped in front to take it away. Kicks it out. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Vicker steps to the line for the first time. Concentration, got to concentrate. Way Rick short. City. Misses the second. And that free throw line has really not been friendly for them tonight, Dick. Yeah, they just haven't looked comfortable from there. For that reason right there, that's why I love college basketball. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. 
frustration right there. There should be an easy bucket here. Tries for two. He buries it. And they get the turnover. Buries it. down low there's a drop and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot they stripped him in a basketball got a little too fancy too much mustard there gliding in for the jam sliding and gliding nobody rotated over the defense moves so slowly looking for a good shot he shoots from the baseline way off target and he scores despite the hack. The replay reveals the deal, baby. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Picked out of the air. He saw that developing. He was right there when the ball left his hand. Off the rim and no good. Great anticipation defensively. With a deep pass. They work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. For two. Georgia Tech are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they will keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Dump it inside. He launches the bomb, drains it. Roll that one back. shoots from the angle. You bet you. They've got to figure out a way to slow him down. I'd start to get physical with him and I'd see what happens. Tempo to game really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Gave it up. The student body is rocking tonight. Oh yes, the student body. Always full of comedy and excitement. Executes the baby hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. He shoots from the elbow. It's good. Jumps in. He puts it in with contact and all. a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Time to pick up the defense here now. Good fake. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. And the ball goes out of bounds. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, before the game, the coaching staff told me they worried this situation could happen. They told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not rely on one player. Right now, the coaches are trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Trying to 
look at that ball movement, get that good spacing. Jumps into the defender, drops the bucket despite the harm. Gave it up. He's got to get rid of it. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, good close play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Controlling the ball. He's open if he wants the shot. Top of the circle. He gets it to go. On the dribble, gives it up. Well, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Perfectly executed. Gave it up. Too much. That's a foul. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. They're rocking right now. My goodness. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. Dick, they're ripping up the Nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes away the pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. With the block. Tickles a twine. Steals a pass. Looking for a good shot. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. Long distance makes it. There's a high screen, way off target. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Number 32 goes to the line for the first time. Gets it. Georgia Tech are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. And he got them both. Defensively. Got 
the high pick. Takes it off him. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. And now they'll bring it up. Another turnover. And they're not talking out the turnovers either. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Off the rim and no good. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. The fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He's taking his team out of the game plan with these shots, Dick. Yeah, and even if he were hitting them, Brad, they're still bad shots. Picks off the pass. On the outside, they've left him completely alone. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. A couple of free ones. Misses the first. He says, thou shalt not enter thy lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Oh, what a strip, Red. And back they come the other way. Puts it up, looking for contact. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see more oh, man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. He shoots from left of the circle, knocks it down. <laughs> Blocked! Nice job defensively. He has the presence of mind to set the screen in time to get off the nice inside bucket. from the post and goes the other way. He looks for three. He shows the sweet touch. Two for one opportunity. Now they work it around the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Number 13 walks out to get his first minutes tonight. They have such a deep bench, Brad. This kid could start for any program in the land. Except this one, apparently. Well, you never know what the story really is. He takes the shot from the baseline. He's good for another score. Hands in his face anytime now, boys. They work the perimeter. Trying to draw some contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Up and inside. 
He shoots from right of the circle. Way off target. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. At halftime, the Demon Deacons are behind by seven. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. There's a lot, a lot more turnovers than I'm used to seeing them having a first half, Dick. I must admit it, I'm still trying to figure out their game plan. Do they think they can win without any offensive possessions? It would take a miracle for that to happen. Second half, Dick, our focus player update, and what's he got to focus on, or what do his teammates have to focus on? Well, I think they got to get him the ball right away and have him attack the basket. I think he's got to be able to become much more aggressive on the offensive side. And he scores despite the hack. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Arte just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Arte did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive play. For two, perfectly executed. The Yellow Jackets lead by nine. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was rocking on the box. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Dump it inside. Fires away. He gets the shot to fall. Gave it up. Launches the three. Sinks the shot. There he is. Strips the ball loose. Looking for the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. They get the ball down low and he hips up with his man and down he goes. Hey Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that baby. Comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position, of spreading his body and getting the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. There's the screen up on top. Goes up for two. He hits a bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Definitely a foul. 
Nick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, Ethan? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Look at that spacing. Too physical. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Which to me, this is a gift. Makes the second shot. his third. Puts up the shot. Oh, yes. Moving it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. The ball goes out of bounds. High post flashes for the ball handler. He shoots from right in the circle. Off the rim and no good. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. Entry pass in the paint. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul call there. I think a good call by the official. Not blowing the whistle. I think it's an excellent call. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing the wall. And they come with a double team to stop it. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. The Demon Deacons have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. There's a double team waiting there. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Leans in, and he scores it off the glass. If you watch it again, it's even better. The ball goes out of play. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. Two. I tell you, there's a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. And a momentary look from three-point land. He makes the shot. Get that sucker out of the game, man. For the bucket. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Georgia Tech are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building.
Gave it up. He attempts the three. It sticks. Side. Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Here's the three ball, way off target. Nielsen pounded on his way up. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Number four set to record his first action. Hey, this guy will give you a great hustle on a defensive end of the floor. First shot, good. Again. What did I say? Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. For two, and off the mark. So forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Kicks off the lazy pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Fakes it. And he'll kick it back outside. We'll take the shot. The Yellow Jackets have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brady's on fire. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Wake Forest is another member of the tough ACC. They're usually talented and competitive, but oftentimes they're looked at as an afterthought. They've had limited success since back-to-back -back ACC championships in 95 and 96. Tries for two, and he missed. it inside and he tries a drop step defensively nice job Bob, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot excellent spacing that's so important to a good offensive set it's even more important to have talented guards like they have yeah, that helps. the momentum is on their side high fives chest bumps we're seeing it all now hey Brad the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun He'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created the foul opportunity. Gets the second shot. He shoots from the top of the circle. And he hits the three. On the outside. He 
beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Strips the ball. And again, they look to run. I don't know what I enjoyed more, Brad. The dunker watching the mascot. What a reaction. He's really into it. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. And he scores it off the glass. Pushing that basketball. From left of the circle. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Gave it up. Looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The Demon Deacons are down by 16. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brad, despite his performance, he has been unable to get his teammates all on the same page. There's a lot of confusion and lack of focus down here right by the bench. He continues to stress to them, relax, play your game. He can't do this alone, Brad. All right, thanks, Aaron. He shoots from the angle. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Picked off. With a long bomb. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He'll get the free ones. He hits it. Converts on that free throw line, and that's major. On the dribble, gives it up. He intercepts it. For two, perfectly executed. it up here's a double team on the dribble gives it up dump it inside barber receives the pass that's a high post screen goes to the lane wake forest are putting together a pretty good run here execution's been the key baby picked off goes up for two the land. Dick, is the defense giving up? No, I just think they're being overwhelmed by this offensive display. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Double team now, bad angle. Stolen. Here they go into transition. Picks off the lazy pass. Solid work getting back on D. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city. I tell you one thing, absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestle. in front to take it away. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Basket falls despite the contact. perimeter takes the pass in the paint they move it into the front court 
Takes the shot. Scorches the net. Takes away the pass. Wow. He got the bucket to go, and he'll have the chance to add one more. He saw the foul coming, Brad, but he got it up anyway. And now watch them celebrate. Even the mascot's in on the action. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Doing a little jig with the mascot. He'll visit the charity strike. Good. This one might go down to the final buzzer. In close games like this, Brad, offensive and defensive execution is very important. McGrew handles the feed. Goes. Now they work it around the perimeter. There's the pick for the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. He intercepts it. On the outside, let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important that 15 to 17 feet apart. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. <laughs> up and inside. High post screen, gonna use it. From the baseline, he gets that one to fall. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. They work it around the perimeter. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. He shoots from right of the circle. Goes up for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job at a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. He fires from long range. Oh, yes. A five-point lead could go either way with this much time, Brad. Oh, it certainly can, Dick. Shots there if he wants it. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. He comes away with it. Little bump. Says, I like that. Now let's see if we can convert. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession and air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. Misses. For the bucket. Rims out. Accepted. Time out on the floor. Aaron Andrews, what do you got for us again? Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. I think she's right about that, Richie. We 
get ready to bounce back into action here. They cut the lead to two. Hold on to your seat, Mr. Nestler. He pump fakes. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. And he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet jay. will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. Vicker handles the pass. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. That makes it a two-point game, Dick. And the Palms are starting to sweat, believe me. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Good job defensively. They just won't get many openings. Pressure in the basketball. This place will go senseless, Dick, if they can get a stop. And the ball goes out of bounds. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. To look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Shot clock is dead. The small forward gets the ball from top of the circle. Tio called. Hey, we got a barn burner here, baby. I'm thinking last second shot for the win, Mr. Nestler. see a little different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. Penetrates and kicks back. He tries the buzzer. He got it. What a great shot just in the nick of time. And we're going to an extra session. Overtime, baby. Oh, we could stay here all day. What a clutch shot. He wanted the rock at the crucial moment. And he delivered. Add extra time to the clock. At the end of regulation, these teams are all even. This one could go right down to the wire. You've got to love these close ones, Brad. Every error is magnified and could be the difference between a win or a loss. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. Look at that. That's unbelievable, baby. A defensive stop will definitely get the fans out of their seats. He launches a three. Goes in. On the outside. Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student section looks like they're having a great time. On high screen. He gets the rejection. That was absolutely phenomenal. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Picks off the pass. There's a steal. Looking for a good shot. Rejected out of there. 
And he's no good from downtown. Watch out, five second ball approaching. He lets it fly. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Great defense. Another turnover created by Great D, Brad. For the deuce. Georgia Tech have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. That's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charm. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. to the action. The small forward receives the ball. And Dick, this is just playing good deep. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Here's a flash from the high post. For two. Up. Easy one. This one deserves another look, Brad. the screen though steals the pass he shoots from downtown he nails the bucket Look at that space gave it up the shooting guard with the ball isolated on the outside they work it around the arc looking for the open jumper on the dribble gives it up Defense giving some room. Yeah, they come with a double team to stop it. They're working around the perimeter. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Well, Dick, it looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. Dick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Second one is no good. I'm out. here after the timeout. It's a nine-point lead. Well, nine points still keeps you in the game, though, Brad. They can't have a breakdown here, though. He looks for the bomb. He misses it. He drains the bucket. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Nobody likes this point of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. He steps up to the line. Makes the front end of the one and one. Everything looked good, but the result. Dick, this 
this team is having some serious problems at the free throw line. And it's a collective effort by all of them tonight. They got a foul quickly here. That suit's got to be feeling pretty hot about now. Things are not going well. Wow, look at the dejection, the disappointment, the depression, the three Ds. A chance for one and the bonus. Hits that one. It's good. Ten point lead. It's as big a lead as it sounds, Brad. The small forward takes the pass. Poor decision there to shoot that three. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Cross court. Got an open look if he wants it. He goes for the trifecta. Good. Pushes it up. Length of the floor. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Roll it back again, fellas. The ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. The center gets the pass. Wake Forest loses this one in overtime. They had a chance to win this one against a comparable team, but they ended up defeating themselves. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.